Hello guys and welcome back. In this lecture we are going to learn how to create our platforms in here that would take us to the castle and also to the other side of the level as well. So let's start. In the role boss folder go to the blueprints folder in here and then right click and create a new blueprint class. Select actor and type BP moving platforms and then open it up. So what do you want to do in here? Select the add component and then type cube. And then when you add that, uh, make sure that you change the scale in here to be two by two by 0.25, all right? We want something like this. And make sure to change the material to be yellow, all right? something like that we can change it to any color that we want but i think yellow will be just fine all right and then compile and save so what we want to do is that we will have our platform and have two positions a start position and an end position what we want to do is when the game starts the platform will be in the start position and after that it will go to the end position and it comes back to the start position end position start position end position and like that all right so compile and then save and then go to the construction script what we want to do is right now to create two positions name it start position make sure that the variable type is a vector and make sure that it is instance editable and show 3d widget all right and make another one and call it end position and make sure that one is instance editable and also show 3d widget and then it compile and it's safe from the end position make sure it is not zero 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 just make it something like um maybe zero two hundred zero that would be fine right so as we said, the construction script will tell us when the game starts, where will this object will be, all right? When the game starts, what will happen to the current blueprint? So what we want to tell it is that when the game starts, we want our cube to start at the start position, all right? So grab your cube and take it to here and then type set relative location and then connect those two and make sure that this one is connected to the start position right so it will be like this when the game starts in the construction script our cube will start in the start position all right so let me hit compile and save and go to the viewport right now you can see that if i change the start position the platform should move with it you see it is moving with the start position so let me make it zero again and actually let's make it something like 50 or 100 maybe yeah i think 100 will be fine because i want it to be from one side of the you know of the blueprint all right just hit compile and then save and now what we want to do is that let me see grab the bp movement platforms and then take it here you can see that we've got a start position right and we will have an end position that we can drag to wherever we want we can you know drag it to whichever side right now what we want to say is that um, our moving platform will be in the start position and whenever our you know our game starts the platform will go from the start position to the end position and it comes back and goes comes back and goes right so let's do that now all right so go to the event graph and where should we put it uh, we want it to be in the event begin play because we want our code to start from the first frame all right so what we want to tell it is from the event begin play we want to grab our cube and then right move component to right move the component to um, where should we move it we will move it to the end position all right take those one a little bit up to make room for that and all right so how much time should it take to move from one platform or one place to another uh, maybe make it 
4, right? Which means that after 4 seconds, it will go to the end position. And after that, what we want to do is grab that one and type delay. What does delay mean? Delay means that it will wait for some seconds and then it will fire the things after it, all right? So this will be just like a timer that it waits for a little bit of seconds. And just type maybe one second. And then what we want to do is grab our cube again and then move component two and then connect those again, right? And where do you want to move the cube this time? We will want to move it to the start position, get the start position and then put it into there. And after that, what do you want to do? The overtime this time as well, it should be four because we want to move in four seconds and then come back in four seconds as well. And after that, we will add a delay node again right and we will type one and then what we want to do is whenever you know it does everything all right so right now it will move to the end position after four seconds and it will stop for one second and then it moves to the start position by four seconds and then it will stop and what we want to do is that when it comes back Alright, so here it goes and then here it comes back and we want to say that when it comes back make sure to tell it to go to another cycle. So how can we do that? We will just grab our delay node, they, they complete it in here and then we will put it into move component to. So that will be, let me grab that one and make a reroute node and make another reroute node like this and then put it down, right? So this will be like a cycle, right? It will it will go to the end position, it waits, comes back to the start position, waits and then go to the end position, comes back to start position, end position, start position and like that. So let me compile and then save and let's see if that works, all right? So where should we put those? Um let's see. Alright, so let me rotate it and then put it next to here and yeah, and put it there, maybe just a little bit up, uh, make sure to make it like, yeah, something like this will work, alright? So the start position is in here and the end position, uh, let me make sure that this is zero and that is zero as well and the end position should be in here all right so that our platform starts from here and then goes to there and then comes back so let's test it out you see our platform is moving so let me just go to there and see it more clearly Right, so you see that our platform starts from here and then comes back to here. Alright, so what we want to do is actually, you know, sometimes it might move a little bit slow or sometimes you want it to delay for a longer time. So what we want to do is go to here and make sure that the overtime and the delay node make them a variable so that we can change them later. Alright. So right click on the overtime and then say promote to variable and call it movement speed, all right? And make sure to put it down and then hit compile and it is forked, it's just fine. And make sure to take the movement speed and grab it onto the overtime in here as well. And then for the delay node as well, what we wanna do is right click and then promote it to a variable and call it delay time and then let me grab it down in here then compile and save and make sure to put the delay time into here as well so let's see what that does all right so right now if we want to change the delay time and movement speed every time we will have to come back to here and then change them in here right but you know 
you see that the start position and the end position are visible in here why is that because we made them public all right so if I um, go to the moving platforms and then make the movement speed and the delay time you see that eye if I click it and then you know the eye opens it means that they are public so that hit compile and then save we can change them in here so every time we will you know drag a platform we can change the movement speed and the delay time whenever we want so let me delete that one and actually what we want to do is to create another moving platform so how do we do that all right so what I did is that the start position I made it to be 0 100 0 and then the end position is 0 600 0 so that we know that the difference is 500 between them all right select that one and then alt drag it to this side all right and then make sure that um, you see that whenever that platform comes to here right now it, this one goes to the other side so we want to make sure that um, the start position is from the right side and the end position is in here for that one so let me just rotate it and then put it into here maybe um, let me see um, how can we know that will they come to next to each other so I've gone ahead and did the math so that these two will go together so that let me play it and you can see that they match each other and then they go away from each other so if you want to copy the exact you know the exact amount you can see that in here uh, my transforms are like this right and then the start position is 0 100 0 0 600 0 for the end position and for that one all right this is negative 900 on the y but this one is negative 23,000 and because you know this one has 600 to this side and this one has uh, 600 to that side so that if you add them together it will all make sense and because this one is 200 and that one is 200 as well it will make sense all right but if you want to copy just copy it or you can also you know test it out grab them and take them whenever they match each other you can put them there all right um, so that one will be negative 2300 and then in here it will be 100 and 600 as well so what do you want to do uh, this time we want to create another one all right so that it will you know start from here and comes down into here all right so then select that one and then alt drag it to here and this time we want the start position to be on this side and yeah the end position should be in here I think uh, yeah it should be in here so that it will just come down I should have moved these things a little bit to the other side but nah it does not matter it is just fine all right and then what we want to do from the end position in here all right from that position we want to create another one for this side um, actually this is quite a lot but we'll make sure that it can go from here to there so what you want to do is select one of them and then alt grab it to here uh, where should we put it just a little bit more rotate it to that side and then drag it to here so let me check uh, are they even I think yeah I think this is fine all right make sure to make the end position to be in here uh, like that um, just make it a little bit yeah grab it up and that will be just fine I mean we could make two in here but why should we all right just play it and let's see if they work all right and then let's go up oh <laughs> ten ten <laughs> and boom okay and yeah we made a mess <laughs> we should have rotated the other one you, you can see now right now we cannot go to the other side 
okay this is just working but that one was not working all right uh, <laughs> we should have moved the start position to here and the end position to be here so let me rotate that and then put it somewhere like yeah and yeah and that one the end position should be take it up and will that work let me see mm, this one is on the z 200 and that one on the z is 10 so we will have to add 190 to here the end position it is 180 Let's make it 190 and I think that should work yeah I think that should work so let's test it out Ten, ten. <laughs> all right let's go up and ta -da. ah no we should have taken that one to this side by some more units why didn't I do it earlier ah yeah that should work all right let's set it one more time and see if it works Dun, dun, dun. Mm, yes they are all matching together right dun, 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 dun. look at that everything is working just fine and also if you wanted to you know right now some of them are moving so slowly so we can change this one is not working all right we can change also the I mean we can also change the um, you know the that should work the speed of the movement in here for each of them we've got the movement speed and the delay time how much it will you know it will stop when it goes to the end position or the start position but I think that everything is just fine right now so guys I hope you learned something new today and as always see you guys in the next video bye bye